and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode we are looking at volume or how in Minecraft we can use the Minecraft blocks, the cubes, to kind of explore ideas around volume and how we can kind of, uh, I don't know, make it a bit simpler or kind of play with those ideas in a very interesting way. Uh, and I've been meaning to do this, uh, this episode for a long time, uh, so it's been hanging around in my world and my world has got other bits. Just ignore all that stuff over the back. Let's just concentrate on this line of cubes here and we'll discuss what this is in just a moment. So as we know, uh, Minecraft is made up of, it's made of a world, it's made up of blocks, okay? And they're kind of cubes and uh, the kind of consensus in the Minecraft community is that one, one block equals one meter cube and you can go and have a look at the wiki and that'll tell you pretty much the same thing. So one, one block equals a cubed meter which is really useful. So two blocks is two cubic meters. And as we go, four blocks is four cubic meters. Brilliant. Okay, so that's kind of in the two dimensions. Uh, we've also got half slabs, which means we've got um, we've got uh, we can have half half a cubic meter in slabs. And also we've got what's it say here? Snow blocks can be fractions, so they can be one eighth of a cube. Oops, a daisy. So yeah, so let's have a look at this. So one eighth of a cube. Let's go grab myself one of these snow blocks. So snow blocks, as you know or may not know, I don't know. Uh, if you right click them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They actually form little cubes like that, and we can kind of we can do that with them. So they are one eighth of a cube because there's eight little sections that will make up one snow block. Okay, so you can kind of divide stuff into eighths. So cube shapes contain volume. Okay, and this is what this is. I'm actually teaching my six-year-old uh, a little bit about volume at the moment. We're we're using Minecraft to do that. So when we when we look at it, I say, you know, how, how many how many cubes and how many cubic meters are, are in this shape? And he has to count them all up. Okay, and it's it's quite easy when you start off with here because you can actually see all of them. So there's you know we can see there's four cubes on the bot on the top, and there's there's four cubes on the bottom. And then we go to this one. This is this is 27 cubic meters, okay? Uh, but we've got we can see most of the stuff in there. But of course, there's a hidden one in the middle we can't see, okay? So, but but it's still there, so you can you can still kind of count things up. Uh, and that's for cubes, you know. And they're quite easy because they've got three along there, and three along there, and three along, you know, and three along the back. But you can also do this for odd shapes as well. Now, there's a little um, formula. Which we can explore, which, uh, which kind of makes this stuff quite easy. Uh, so this one, these are cuboid, you know, cubes, and this is a, a prism rectangle. Okay, and it also contains volume, and this has got a volume of 30 cubic meters. Okay, and, the, and one of the ways we can do this is we can actually use a bit of maths. <laughs> it's like, oh no, maths. So this is uh, let's do this one. So this is one, two, three, four, five. 5 times 3 times 2 up up and down 2. So let's get let me get my calculator out. So this is my calculator here uh, and I'm going to do that thing. So we we said 5 times 3 times 2 equals 30. So this prism rectangle is 30 cubic meters. Okay, and I've written that on the side as well so that I, I I'm reassured that I've got this right. Uh, so that is the, the equation, if you like, the formula is width times depth times height. Okay, and we can work out, th this is a little representation of the x value, the uh, z value and the y value. Okay, and we, you know, you, we can work these things out at the same time because we're in a three-dimensional world uh, and it's always good to kind of combine a bit of learning about the 3D world, the the axes, if you like, the x, y, and z, and what we what we can talk about is width, depth, and height as well. So of course, this stuff's really cool, and you can kind of think, well, how do we how do we explore that in kind of in everyday life? You know, uh, and this is where I, this is what this thing is about. It's not really everyday life, but I live in Cumbria, uh, which means I live in the Lake District. And in the Lake District, we have got lakes, as you might imagine. And one of our lakes, and we've got information, we've got data about the volume of each of these lakes. So the volume of Lake Windermere is represented in Minecraft here. Okay, so it's this is a giant cubic 
volume of the water, and I've used glass in this taste, but this is the volume cubic water of Lake Windermere, okay? So if we look at its height, the and I, and I kind of had to, I couldn't make a cube shape because actually it would break out of the top of the Minecraft world. You, you would never be able to fit it in there. So I made a rectangular prism uh, and I made the whole thing in MC Edit. Uh, and if, if I've got enough people interested, I'll show you. I'll do a mini tutorial about how I did it. But uh, but essentially, you can do smaller ones. You don't have to do one that's this big. This is just really for me showing off <laughs> and uh, and also kind of just to uh, kind of get that wow factor kind of oh my goodness that's amazing uh, but this is uh this is 226 uh cubes that way uh so that's the height the w uh width if you like it could be the depth is 340 that way and the uh and the depth is 4080 okay so if you times those numbers together we should get the, uh, the the big number. So let's just go grab my calculator again. Here it is. Uh, so ooh, what was it again? Two two six. So it's two two six times three forty times. 340 and then times again let's get that one 4080 4080 times 4080 equals so the uh, let's just uh, make sure I say it right so that looks like 313 million uh, 507,200 cubic meters of water in lake in Windermere which is a lake it's um yeah so there you go uh, quite quite amazing uh so and that all that data i found i did a little bit of googling and i kind of asked a couple of people and i know someone in the in the in the kind of eden rivers trust as well i kind of helped me uh, do all that so thanks very much for, to everybody who helped me figure out all this and uh, and just make sure my maths when we were doing it wasn't uh, wasn't too far out so there you go. I hope that's uh, that's helped you. You can often do uh, other kind of cubic volumes, and especially if you're doing volumes in their classroom. Uh, some of the things I've done is that uh, we've uh, measured the cubic volume of how many breaths people take, uh, and uh, and also how many, like the volume of bath baths that if you have a bath per year, how many baths uh, cubic volume of water would you use in a year, and then representing that in Minecraft. The kind of making these shapes is pretty cool and amazing, and again if you want to use MC Edit to do it, because that'll do it faster, then by all means do that. Um, representing numbers in Minecraft is really cool and really fun, and often kind of uh, demonstrates scale and perspective. Look at the scale of this, I'll just, I'll just fly around, it just, it seems to never end, let's just keep going this way it is huge it is a huge huge amount of water and of course when you see lakes it, you never see really the underneath of a lake you never really understand how deep it is um, but so that's one of the reasons why I sort of did this uh, because I wanted to show my six-year-old because we live right near to next to the lake anyway uh, and it's always fascinating to see the kind of, uh, the kind of oh my goodness it doesn't half stretch on for ages here we go we're nearly at the other end of it and then this is the this is the short end uh, the the sort of depth goes on for thousands of blocks. So I'm just going to stop there and uh, turn myself around. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. I want to... So thank you very much for watching, and I hope this has inspired you to create your own volumes within Minecraft. Until then, thank you and goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>